It's the big dance. It's the season decider in the 2014 NPL Queensland Grand Final as Palm Beach take on Olympic as we take a look through the team lineups for tonight's sides. Palm Beach unchanged from the side that uh, beat the Brisbane Strikers last week here at the Mellowa Complex. For uh, Olympic, a couple of key changes. Brandon Cuaneo in between the goals tonight, replacing Shannon Lancini, Kazia Ito also back into tonight's side after a, an absence of about three weeks. And here's Chris Lucas. Oh, fumble there from Cumaneo. And Lucas looked to take advantage, but Brandon Cumaneo able to recover. Ruffin. Okay. Oh, Terry Hughes has gone down injured there. You can hear him writhing in pain and clutching his knee and Terry Hughes is a hard man and he's not the type of player that's going to stay down easily. Let's see what happened here. It's gone in for the challenge and oh, fallen awkwardly. Well, that's a very nasty injury and being taken away on the stretcher. It's not good news for Terry Hughes at all. Find out the full ramifications of that later on as Vitikangas plays his clearance. It's cut out there by Danny Byrne. Oh, Byrne able to get that ball and plays it on for Tim Smiths. And Smiths has the opening goal for Olympic. Let's take another look at it. From that angle, I think the linesman might have made the right call. Riley Dillon stopped. I think Christian Rees remonstrated with the young defender there to say, well, don't, don't stop. Keep on playing the whistle. Anyway, Olympic have the goal and a 1-0 lead early on. Through for Chris Lucas. Lucas! Lobs Brandon Cumaneo. What a fantastic finish from the Golden Boot runner-up this year. Ball was played through by Troy Ruthven. Chris Lucas. Oh, well, that's a fantastic finish. That's just absolute quality. Again, Olympic are threatened. Lucas. And a great save there from... Brandon Cumaneo. Let's take a look at that again. The strike was good. The save was better. And Brandon Cumaneo showing why he's been one of the better keepers in the competition this year. And why he's earned a recall to the Olympic starting lineup tonight. Ito. Neither side able to retain possession just for the time being. Ito does come away with it now for Olympic. On for Denny Byrne. Byrne, he's going to try a lob of his own and Vitikangas. He's come up with his own great save. Both keepers equal to the task tonight. Vitikangas was off his line. Recovered well to deny Denny Byrne. Mundy. Made on quickly there again for Byrne, who's been the focal point of Olympics attack tonight. Byrne off his left foot. And just can't control his shot. And they're going to come back for a caution here for an early incident. Christian Rees into Alex King's notebook. Burn. Played through by Smiths. He's caught offside. Let's take a look at that and see whether we can get the angle on that. And yep, according to that graphic, probably a good half a metre to a metre offside there was Danny Byrne. Corners played short. Ito. Back for Byrne. Vitikangas. Grabs it. Played forward. Lucas! Chris Lucas in injury time in the first half. Gives the Premiers a 2-1 lead in the grand final. Balls on for Chris Lucas. Guides it into the back of the net. 
And the Palm Beach Sharks are going to take the lead into half time. Referee Alex King blows the whistle. Palm Beach Sharks 2, Olympic FC 1. Corners swung in for the back post. It was McKay chipping in there, played the ball on for Reese. Here's McKay again driving the action through the midfield. Jared Cole come on as a substitute for Palm Beach. Kimineo down to his left. Oh, and Daniel Dragosevic, I think, is clutching as a, at a hamstring there. He's remained down, going to go off the park and receive some treatment. Here come the Sharks once again. Kyle steaming through the centre of the park. Ball met there by Cumaneo. Danny Byrne plays it back for Ito. Header on. Played square there by Dodd. And Vitakangas off his line to save the day. Cut out there by Reese, And handball against McKay. Free kick here to Olympic on the edge of the box. McKay not happy with that decision. Plenty in the wall there for Palm Beach. Played straight into the wall. Rebound falls for Darren Gray. Header at the back post. And Palm Beach scramble. Matt Byrne making the run through on the right. Instead, Edo plays the ball in and collected by Vitakangas. Releases it quickly. Oh, and it'll be gotten there by Estathus. Kyle angling towards goal. Estathus makes up for his earlier mistake. Okay. Jared Kyle again. Solid attacker for Palm Beach. Played on by Butler. Cross comes in from the right. Jack Boxall meets it! And Palm Beach have a two goal advantage with just over five minutes to play. And as you'd expect, much excitement. Jack Boxall gets the ball in front of Ito. And Palm Beach are well on the track to achieve the same feat that their opponents in Olympic did last year in winning both the Premiership and the Grand Final. Matt Byrne on for Meredith. Meredith finds Tim Smith. Takes a deflection. And Olympic are going to make this interesting right to the death. We are a minute into stoppage time now. Meredith. And Smiths with the expert finish. Third minute of stoppage time. Palm Beach just content to play it in the corner. Caught offside. Olympic will need to... Shift this up the field very quickly. Mundy on. Possession's good for Palm Beach. Referee Alex King blows the full-time whistle. And the Palm Beach Sharks are the 2014 NPL Queensland champions. Tonight they've defeated Olympic. 3-2 as we see the post-match celebrations. Firstly, just want to say commiserations to the Olympic team. Obviously, it's never nice to lose in the final. Um, pushed us all the way there. So, um, unlucky to you guys. Um, what a season for us boys over there. Just want to take a minute to congratulate all of them. You know, I think at the start of the season, no one would have expected this. 
Um, we've come from nowhere really, got ourselves on a run and just kept it going. So all credit to those boys over there for their hard work. <laughs> And congratulations to the Palm Beach Sharks collecting the 2014 NPL Queensland Champions Trophy.